by Tallinn. Where are we going? We don't know. <laughs> At this point, we actually didn't know which city we were going to head to. So the plan was just to head north as far as I could be bothered to drive and then come back down along the west coast, coming around to Turku and ending up back in Helsinki. We're in a city called Tampere, which is about 100 miles north of Helsinki. And we're just walking along the Bujajarv because Tampere actually is stuck between two lakes, Bujajarv to the south and Nazijarv to the north. So it looks like they turned a lot of these factory style buildings into cafes, shops, supermarkets. So it's just a little ahead of us. This is my worst nightmare when Christina finds herself in a little. She does it without fail. Any country we go to, she gets into a little and just shops. I can't. I still feel sick to my stomach. I nearly threw up. Ooh, I got shivers. I want to have anything so disgusting in my life. <laughs> oh. oh, I can't even look. I'm going to throw up. So I think this was invented when someone accidentally, or on purpose, swapped the pepper for the sugar or salt or whatever. And they added it to the porridge. And they were like, oh, this actually tastes all right. And they fooled the rest of the world, or at least Finland, that this is tasty. So I've also bought some chocolate, what well, looks like licorice with chocolate inside, panda. Apparently it's finished. I love licorice. Yeah, I love that. Oh. That's really tasty. No way. Mm. No, I can't do that. <laughs> Honey. Honey. Ah. Ah. It brings back all the memories of childhood. I hated it so much. <laughs> oh, I don't want to swallow it. So we've driven about, about for a good three hours northwest towards a city called Vasa, but it's also a place where Swedish or Finnish Swedish people live who speak Swedish and they pronounce it Vasa, not a double A. This city is officially referred to as bilingual, as are many cities in Finland. Roughly 70% of the population are first language Finnish and 25% of Swedish first language. The remainder, naturally, are made up of other languages, and I am sure some Estonians live in the area. Vasa is also the gateway to a world heritage site, the Kavarkan Archipelago, which is where we are heading next. Remember to like the video if you are enjoying it. Please leave a comment on your impressions of Finland, or if you have any experiences of this beautiful country. Please subscribe if you want to help the channel grow, and a big thank you in advance if you do decide to do so. So although we had no plan, we've ended up here on a beautiful archipelago just northwest of Varsa. No, Varsa. No, archipelago. 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 And it's beautiful. Um, we're on a walk right now. We drove to the top, or the most northerly point we could, and now we're all on a walk. It's a bit muddy, but uh, it seems that you can walk. Well, we'll just see what it looks like. I've already dropped my phone in the mud. Oh, then Christina, interact, interact with the environment. During the last ice age, the continental ice sheet levelled mountain tops and gouged deeper and wider valleys. So from what we can gather, this geographical area is down to the fact that as the ice age came to an end 10,000 years ago, and the ice sheets were melting, it caused a lot of land to be lifted. And I'm not quite sure how that works, but I'm sure I can give it a look. Look it up. It's just on the Gulf of Bothnia and uh, it's rising, the land is rising. So what that means is, is that about every year the land rises by about, depending on where you are, but by about a centimetre, two centimetres. That's almost, um, almost a metre every hundred years. And uh, the reason for this is because when there were ice sheets in this area, they were pressing down on the crust, the Earth's crust. And uh, as now the ice age is over and the ice sheets have all gone, the land is now, what was once 
once depressed is now rebounding back up. And this is happening all along the coast of Finland on the west, on the Gulf of Bothnia, Bothnia as well as in Sweden. But eventually it's going to hit an equilibrium where it won't rebound anymore. But that's, it's, got, it's due to rise another about 100 metres. So we've managed to drive a bit further south, just outside of Bori, and we're on another archipelago. And uh, we've just come to the end where you've got this free parking in this uh, lighthouse. A lot of people here with big cameras and uh, binoculars ready to take pictures of the wildlife that's probably about. Um, I believe that there are some grey seals trapped here, not trapped, but they're in the, in the Baltic Sea and not in the Atlantic anymore. It's a little bit cloudier today, but uh, we yeah. managed to catch the a rainbow that went made a complete ring around the sun, like a halo, which is very pretty. But we stayed in a nice little apartment yesterday that had a sauna, um, or a sauna, and uh, it was a little electric one, and uh, got that going, had a finished beer, and apparently there are about three million saunas in Finland. Um, which is a lot. Yellowslil. Oh, I bought a new one. He's good. Wow. So we're just walking the streets of Helsinki. You can hear lots of church bells because today is Easter Sunday. Why are we so high up already? It's spinning. Oh, I don't. I don't want to go back down. Anyway, so. We stayed in a hostel for the first time last night, and um, in Helsinki. So we got in a room, there's three beds, one bunk bed, one single bed. Yeah, the sheets weren't, the they sheets weren't clean. clean. There's like some, some, left some plasters, and drinks in the yeah. bin. We just, well, we couldn't open the door. We got in eventually, the room was dirty. Then, yeah, Christina tried asking for new bed sheets, and I said, I bet you they haven't got any new bed sheets, or they haven't all, or there will be no one here to do it, and there wasn't. But they said, oh, we can give you another room. So Christina got a really, nice room that was clean and there's so, no complaints about that room if it was like that from yeah. the off but then the key in that door wasn't working either couldn't get it out it's got jammed so i had to use a special i had to google it and i used a little special technique where i pushed it in and then out and then wiggled it and i had to pull it really gently because the pins were ruined well i thought in case we can't get the key out it's going to move the fridge in front of the door so if anybody wants to come in it's going to drip over the fridge so elf is going to try a reindeer hot dog <laughs> seven euros for a piece of sausage <laughs> <laughs> These just eat half and I'll take it. Smoky. Ah. Thanks for making it to the end of the video. We hope you enjoyed the video and remember to subscribe to our channel.